Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we will check fresh brush scene release from Edward. As you can see it is designed for use with recent release from the same company for the new Focke Wolf 190A4 in 148 scale. And this time it copies a cockpit for this aircraft. So as you remember we had a short series of the build review with this kit and out of the box cockpit was quite nice but some others of course want more and here is the answer for their needs. As you can see here we have standard box for the Brassin products on the back side we have typical information about Brassin products once again and now we're just gonna open it and take a closer look on at what is hidden inside and why this kit is more detailed than original plastic offering. So as you can see packaging styling is quite typical, we have several layers of foam and this foam might come handy in some let's say modeling activities as well, so don't throw it away. Then we have separate plastic bags with different elements, in total there are three plastic bags inside of this box. Let's check the first plastic bag with light grey resin part, this is a cockpit base which is molded as one piece part as on the original plastic kit. And here you can see what is actually molded into this part. As you can see detailing is noticeably better even in this form, but don't forget that you also add different P parts here and it will be even more detailed. And of course I would suggest to, let's say, sew off this uh, thick frame, but uh, leave this thin frame so that you can handle easier this part and use it as a handle as you can see here. It's quite a nice addition and I think it will come handy. But of course nobody stops you from sewing completely whole base of this part and then trying to handle it somehow with your own hands. Then we have minor elements, here you can see them. Uh, these are molded out of noticeably darker resin, except of this pilot seat which is molded as one piece part. And again note that rear part is detailed with separate rails and of course you will have to delete this flash between rails and seat. Inside we have separately molded, uh, let's say, pillow, which is here. The same parts division as on the original kit, but again this part is a bit more detailed than part counterpart on the original kit. Then here we have uh, some of the, let's say, external elements for fine detailing. Next we have these minor handles, which also look good. Another thing, this is a control stick, which is molded as one piece part as well. And as you can see it looks quite fine. Then we have backrest. Again here you will have to apply decals on other uh, plastic kits for Focke Wolf. Here you can see top part of the dashboard. Note that it is molded as resin part. You will have to apply separate decals for the dials. And that's already quite typical approach for resin kits from Edward. I would say it's quite nice because uh, such detailing brings a bit more realistic look. And of course it's an advantage for our kits. Then here we have combing panel and some minor elements for the cockpit. Next we have another top part of the dashboard. This one is plain for those who would rather use P parts. And then we have this base with another minor, minor elements. And of course two lower segments of the dashboard. One is plain and one features pre-molded dials. So the final choice will be up to you if you want to use this part or this part. I would rather use resin part with separate decals for uh, dials because it would look a bit more realistic. But of course nobody stops you from using P fret. Now we open the last plastic bag with extras and here we have the P fret and small film for the target side. So here they are. These are typical Edward products, so nothing special in a good sense I would say. As you can see dashboard is quite detailed and I think this is a... No, it's not written here that it's steel. So I guess that's a P fret, but it's quite thin, so I guess 
I won't be surprised that it's a steel product, one of their latest creations and the one which is easier to apply. And as I said before, there is also a separate decal sheet, here it is. Here we have all necessary symbols for the dashboard, for some stencils in the cockpit. Everything is printed in Android and printing quality is quite nice, so no worries about possible problems with application of this beauty. And then we have last component in this kit. This is assembly manual, here it is. Uh, I mean, the format is quite typical for Edward, so we have assembly process starting with belts, then we continue with pilot seat, we apply these parts into the cockpit base, we de decide which dashboard we will use in our airplane, and then we close the cockpit with canopy, apply all necessary decals, and as you can see in total you have to perform 7 steps in order to get a nice resin cockpit. And here you can see parts map with all necessary parts which are included into this kit. So that's all for this video review, I hope you enjoyed it. As usual don't forget to read full review article. Here should be link for the article in English and Russian. And of course if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook group. And once again I will remind you that we have a donate button on our website so you can donate money on our new camera for better videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video review. Bye!